Okie dokie, here we go. So this class today, welcome everybody. This class today is something a little different for you all. We are starting on the floor today. And as you can see here, I've got myself some props. You're going to need either some encyclopedia books with the blanket covering it or blocks if you have your blocks. We're going to release through our upper thoracic spine between your shoulder blades, sort of like an opening lying back like this, and the knees will be bent. The thoracic block, horizontal, and the head block, try a little higher to start with, but you can always make it lower. Please cover this, and when you lay down, you want to lay down so that this block for the thoracic is between your shoulder blades up here. You don't want it down here. How you feel that it's just not in the right place. Here, not too high, not too low, just in between the middle scapula, shoulder blade. So take your time, lean, make sure it's not too hard. So put as many lean as you need. Keep your knees bent and play around with the block under your head. So you get it at exactly the right position. Keeping your knees bent, your feet can come wide like the mat and rest your knees in on each other. <sighs> You're going to need your strap, which I didn't mention, so hopefully you've got that close by as well, and any other blankets and pillows that you need for extra props as we go along. So this is where we ground. Thank you for your patience, Jan and Rhonda. <laughs> You're beautiful. And now we're here. Deep breath in. And <sighs> let it completely out. Take another deep breath in. And let it out. One more time, deep breath in. And as you let it out, sound, let yourself sound it out. <sighs> Just closing our eyes now. If you feel like you're too high, you'll feel like you're sliding down. So if you do need to reposition, Take as much time as you need until you find that perfect sweet spot. If you have low blood pressure, then definitely keep your head a little bit higher than your heart. Start to feel the body melt. Your shoulder blades start to soften and contour over the block as the front of your chest lets go. Rest our awareness to the breath, not trying to change the breath in any way, but let's connect in consciously with our breathing right now. Getting the expansion as the breath enters into the body. And then the drawing back in as it releases. Like the contraction and expansion of, 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 the, of life. And yes, I guess the earth as well. She has contraction and expansion. Every cell. Every organism, every life form. And we can take that back to when things were developing in the ocean. And that's what I think of when I think of this attraction and expansion, the way things move in water. 
as we rest into our watery world inside our body. Feel softening around the eyes, a mounting across the forehead. It's an inner smile starting to light up inside your, your mind. Mind your eyes. Let any tension drain away from the jaw. Opening the throat. Opening the heart area. Feel the diaphragmatic area here. It's like the gateway. We suppress things down below it to, to prevent us from feeling them in the heart. Feel an opening through the diaphragm, through the solar plexus, so that we can allow things to raise from up and process through the heart's energy. Feel a grounding of your sacrum into the floor and a connection of your feet, the soles of your feet, through deep down to the earth. Then to take a breath in for three with a little pause. And then out for three, finding that pause again. Beautiful. Just here now for another two cycles of that breath. Keep it going. Feel how it's grounding you into your body, into your presence. Into you. Feeling yourself letting go your body again. Just that little bit more heavy on every cycle of breath that you can hold. Beautiful ladies. So coming off is just as important as coming onto the blocks. Let's walk the feet a little closer. There's two ways we can do it. One of them is we can use our forearms. Just lean yourself over toward one. Push your back hand. Push yourself off the block. And move the blocks just over to the side. Somewhere where you be able to access them shortly. Making sure you have a strap handy, then come to lay back on your back for a moment. Notice where the block has been, and just see if you can feel a sense of freedom here. You'll sense maybe the chi coming back and flowing into this area again. And you may also feel that your breathing is changed. Notice all the tiny little subtle things that are shifted just from laying there with this heart opener and more importantly doing your breath work. Grounding your presence into your body. So please take your strap now. And we're going to take, keep both knees bent at this stage, loop your strap around the sole of your right foot. And then just wherever it's comfortable for you, straightening out that right leg, we're going to start a fire by stimulating that kidney energy point. Okay? So we're going to imagine that we're starting a fire under the foot. Feel that warmth. Beautiful. 
Okay, please hold your strap quite high so your arms are straight. Then let your shoulders rest back into the floor. Feel them drop back. Just let the weight do the work. Here, the main thing is not getting your foot up as high as mine. It's just having a straight leg where possible for you. Okay, so here we're just going to do two little contractions to activate your hamstrings a little so they might be in reciprocally soften. Keeping resistance on your strap, we're going to try and bend that leg. Don't reach yourself though. So you'll activate the back of your hand, the back of your upper leg, your hamstrings. You won't let yourself bend. Relax totally. Breathe out. Now just see if you can stretch a little bit more without force. Just a soft, soft invitation. Breathe in again. Bend, try to straighten. Uh, try to bend, sorry. Resist, resist, resist. Stop. Breathe out, release. And now just see if you can stop. Take that strap in a position that you're not working too hard with your hands. If you want to make that left leg extend, that's fine. You'll feel that this leg comes down a little bit. Let's stay here. And as we focus here on what's happening behind the leg, notice all parts of your body that are still touching the floor. Feeling the back of your head, back of your shoulders, which parts of your back are touching the floor, which parts have space. Your sacrum, feeling that resting on the floor, your whole leg. Now, please hold both straps in your right hand. No, change both. Hold both straps in the left hand, just along the grip this time. Right arm comes out beside you, and we're going to cross this right leg across the left side of your body. So cross it across the midline. But at this stage, don't let this lower, um, lower back start to lift. Your sacroiliac joint, your posterior leg is fine. Your sacrum should stay on the floor. So we're isolating this upper outer leg, your glutes, your iliotibial band here. Continue with your deep breathing. And if you start to feel it softening now, now you take yourself into a twist. Now you can let this part of you lift off the floor, your hips, your right buttocks. And let your lower back start to twist and let your leg come all the way over. Your shoulder may have to level as well. But if you can try to let the weight of your arm ease you into this reverse twist here. Rest, you might even want a little bit. I've got my crystal bowl underneath my foot, which is perfect. If you had anything there, let it rest. Oh, thank you for suggesting um, you'd like to do some floor work. It's just perfect to um, balance out a lot of the other standing poses. Brings us into our body, calms that nervous system down so, so much. And just helps you relax and even deeper, deeper, stretching out and getting in connection and in touch with those deepness. Okay, let's return that leg, even if you've got to help with the other hand. This time the strap's being held with our right hand. If you do want something underneath that ready to support that right leg when it opens out, have something there. Those blocks. Hold your strap long in the right hand, take your left arm out beside you and start to open your right leg out. Let your right elbow rest on the floor. Now try where possible to keep this left hip and buttocks on the floor. As soon as it starts to lift and you start to do this, that's when I want you just to hold this leg where it is, even if you have to hold with both hands. Or support up here. If you have carpet, that might be easier. It slips on the floor here. For me, I can go a little bit more of the way, but make sure that you are supported. You don't have to at all. Beautiful. Feeling a softening of the breath.
when you're ready. Gently all the way up to centre. Softly now, undo your strap. Bend the leg and then slide the leg down to meet the other. And take a moment here. And if you need to just roll that leg in the hip tongue a little. And then pause and feel what's the difference. Does one leg feel longer? Does one leg feel more open? Trace that sense of releasedness from the sole of the foot to the ankle, to the knee, and right up here up until your hip joint. And notice, it feels quite remarkable for me at the moment. It really feels like it's loosened all the way up my knee through the fascia and also right into the joint of the hip. The inside of that joint and the outside, hopefully you're experiencing something similar. So let's do the other side. Slowly, whenever we move on the floor, rather than lifting limbs really rigidly, let's slide, open that knee and bend the right knee, open the knee and bend the left knee, and now let's lift the strap around the left foot. Find your place, let's do the little kidney simulation first. <sighs> Okay, holding still, arms up quite high here, so you've got straight arms in the way of your shoulders. And we're going to resist, but try to bend that knee. Bend, 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 and resist, resist, resist. <sighs> Breathe out, resist. Breathe in. Bend, resist, 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 hold, feel that contraction. <sighs> Relax. Pause. And stretch it in. Hold here now. Maybe you might like to slide that right leg down. But maybe you feel better with it bent. Both ways are beautiful. Listen to your body. This is your practice. Okay, both hands, both straps in right hand, left arm opens out beside you by your shoulder. Start to let that left leg cross over the midline and just hold it when you feel the stretch in the upper arm and the arterial band. Stay here for a few breaths and feel it soften. And then you'll notice that it starts to soften and move and you start to automatically rotate over all the way. So let your spine come into it now and let yourself rotate. I think we'll make this a whole floor class today as I'm gaining insight about feeling it now. I think that's a good balance because then you'll have a whole library to go to. You've got your standing classes. And then you'll have a whole floor class to come to, just for balance. Plus it feels pretty good to be down here on the floor right now. You just go deep in. Okay, ladies. Reach for that strap with the left hand as well. Help your leg up. Take your time. Hold the strap now with your left hand. Slide the hands down towards the chest a little more. Rest your left elbow on the floor. Right elbow opens out. Let your leg open out to the leg. But remember, keep this right hip and right buttocks down on the floor. Don't let it lift up. Support that left leg if you need to.
Okay. Start to bring that leg back to the center. Bend the knee a little. Remove the strap. Take the strap over to the side. Somewhere quite out of the way. And slide your leg down on the floor. I'll just cancel that out. Sorry. And take a moment to feel left and feel right. Notice which parts of this left side feel open now. For me, I feel like my whole front of my right, my left leg has released and I feel like my left, left foot's pointing further down. So I think my quads have released as well and the whole hip flexor. So you'll feel it right into the inside of this hip and in the inner leg. So good. Now since we've, we're here on our back, Let's move into some gentle somatic movement flows here. Make sure you've got a little bit of space. I'm just going to move down so that you can see me a little more clearly. The first, part, the first uh, sequence that we'll do here, since we've just done legs, is maybe a swimming frog, okay? So, the first part of this movement is our right knee will open, right knee opens out to the side and let your heel slide up into the center of your groin. Now bring your knee up toward the center. So roll on your foot and now slide your knee straight down. There's three parts of this movement. It's called swimming crawl. So this is part of it. Open the knee up, slide your heel up. It's a half butterfly. Lift the knee, roll on the foot, slide the heel down. Do that again. Gentle somatic flow of the swimming frog. Knee up, roll to center, slide down. Spin foot out, knee up, slide to center, slide down. Do another three like that. Knee up, slide to center, spin down. And again, knee up. Last time. Pause here in between those. And again, take a moment to check in. The checking in part of general somatic yoga is where we kind of press a bit of rest here. We're changing neuromuscular patterns now. Some of this movement is based on the Baum Price technique uh, and Thomas Hannes' work, somatics, and I trained with James and I at general somatic yoga. Let's do the left side. So we're going to open the knee out, slide the heel up towards the center of the bottom, lift the knee, rolling on the foot, slide and foot down. Knee open, heel slides up, draw knee up, slide down. Open the knee, heel to the groin, knee to the center, slide down. Take your time here, really feel. And I'm talking, so it makes it sound a bit disjointed, but I want you to feel your movement is connected and really stay with the presence. One ear is on me, but the rest of your ears and eyes are in the brain system. So let's just do one more here, one, one more single. Take a pause. Let's do double frog now. So both knees open out, both heels draw in toward the center, and now lift both knees into the center and slide the and spin down. Do that again. Spin the frogs up, knees in the center, and your knees in the center. Spin the frogs up, knees to the center, and down. Now this is what's happening in your whole body. Bring your knees up. Knees to center. Yes, and flatten down. Do two more like this. Roll the feet up. Bring the knees together. And down. Uh, notice what's happening in the lower back. We're going to work with the lower back. That's a good job. 
staying here, let the legs drop out, giving just a little bit of side to side windshields, and then let everything be, take time to reset. Deep breath in. And side out. Take a moment to feel your inner landscape. What are you aware of? And the next part to swimming frog is the reverse of the movement we've been doing. So this time, rather than the knee drop drawing down and the heel drawing up through the center, this time our heel going to knock our knee into the right side, so turn the knee in, and let your heel flip out as if you bring your heel to the bottom. Your hip will lift a little, let that happen. And it's almost as if you're looking down towards your heel. And then uh, from here, Open the knee and slide back down. Not opening it right all the way, but just uh, I'll show you again. So turn the knee in, get the heel flip out, slide the foot in, and straighten it down. Lift the heel up, slide the foot in, so the knee faces back up to the seat, and slide down. Just two more like this. Heel flips out, slide the foot in. Let's slow with this because you're going to you're going to feel other things kind of little bit. Take your time. It'll certainly let you know what other muscle groups may be holding slight contraction. And down. Okay, pause here. Take a moment again. That that chicken somatic scan. Okay, let's do the other leg. Lift your foot down, slide that foot to centre, and slide down. Lift your foot out, back to centre, and slide the foot down. Lift your foot out, draw it up, slide to centre. One more. Lift the foot in, slide the foot in, and back to centre. Pause here. So you know what's now? We're going to combine that second part together, so both feet. So when we're ready, this does feel strange. Maybe if you want to have your hands down and palms down, but just help ground you a little if you need a little support from the hands. So you'll feel your lower back initiate first and your core here. So the knees roll in, lift both heels out, take your time. If you have any lower back pain, just take it a little way. And then slide the feet in, lengthen the knees out. Lift the heels out, draw the feet in, lengthen the knees out. Two more. One more. And down. All right. You know what we're doing now? We're going to take both of those movements together, swimming frog in full totality of its glory. We're going to start with the um, first one that we did on the way up, and then on the way down, we'll do the second one. So knees out, heels up to the center, bring to the center. Now, this time as we go down, put your heels up and reverse it. Heels up to the centre, knees out, knees knock in, slide down. Reverse it. Imagine swimming frog. Find the flow. Make sure you're trying to keep your head in centre. I know you're turning to look at the camera for you. You're not going to see you at the moment, but So try and keep looking straight ahead. One more like this. So it just keeps your, your spine and everything in line. Stay here. We're going to reverse that. 
Pause for a moment though. Just notice, make sure nothing's stirring. You will find things stirring, but make sure it's tolerable for you. Let's do it the other way. So heels flip, draw centre and down the body. Yeah, two, three more like this. One more, one more everybody. Just so strong. Okay, beautiful. <sighs> Lengthen out, take the legs a little wider. Roll the legs. What we might do before we lengthen out, please bend your knees, take your feet wide, your knees wide, and just some very slow, gentle, integrated windshield wiper rolling your legs. So you can let the spine roll if you like. Remember those thighs, breathe it out. And remember when we do this gentle somatic work, it's kind of like feeling every movement that we do when we do, especially this kind of thing, playful stuff, is make it as beautiful as your first stretch of the morning. Make it as natural. Feel those pendiculations. Pendiculation is like when you yawn and you feel yourself kind of squeezing into one side. Not a stretch as such, but it's like, oh, it kind of feels like a stretch. We've always called it stretching, but it's not essentially a stretch stretch. It's called pendiculation. That's your body's amazing inherent knowing of how to reset for the day. So we want to do that now. If your arms want to reach above your head while you do this, let's start to play. Make it beautiful for you. Find those sweet spots. In the head as well, alternating, looking in the opposite direction, make it flow for you. Working with your breath. Ah, come to lay now in a long, gentle, released posture. Time to reset, press save on the on the file. The breath nice and deep. Okay, please bend your knees, like slide them up just like we've just been doing, I'm hoping you're in the habit of doing it now. Feet are in front of their bottom, but not too close, not too far, find a sweet spot. Hands are alongside you, maybe your palms up, softly though. As we breathe in, I want you to first of all watch what happens at your pelvis and your sacrum naturally when you breathe in. So please take a breath in here through your nose and let it expand in through your whole system. My whole body breathing. And then notice what notice what happens at your sacrum and pelvis when you breathe out. Now the next somatic flow is called arch and flatten. So here, as you breathe in, I'd like you please to notice, to actually tilt your pelvis forward. So as you breathe in, I want you to imagine you're tilting your, your two hip bones at the front here forward. Create space in your front body, which will create a little gap in your lower back. You'll feel an arch. This is the arch part of the arch in the And now as you breathe out, 
Scoop your tailbone under, your pelvis will heel back, and you'll feel your lower back flat and try not to lift the bottom off the floor. Keep that on the floor and stay here for a flattened part. You're breathing out. Breathe in, pelvis tilts and rocks forward, lower back will arch. You feel space here in your front body. Exhale, scoop tailbone under, you'll feel that flatten. Now I'm just going to check the screen because I can see something's come up there and I just want to make sure it's not interfering with the video. Uh, okay, just a moment and I'll plug the back. I hadn't done that. Sorry about that, everyone. Keep going. Arch and flatten. Arch and flatten. Happy now. Happy chase. Inhale to scoop the pelvis forward. It's kind of like cat cow. Inhale, like where the belly drops forward and the back arches. Then the exhale, scoop under and shorten here, and that's flattening. Inhale and exhale. Inhale. You're doing it on the floor that I'll show you while I'm standing. And then the exhale. Just a few more. Now, as you're doing that, and I'm assuming that you're keeping going with that, as you're doing this, I want you to start to relax the upper body and just start to notice what's happening in my shoulders, my neck naturally while I do this arch and flatter movements. And now I want you to exaggerate that. So as you arch, I want you to start to squeeze your shoulder blades together as well. So your whole back body starts to shorten and you open through your front body. This is lengthening. And as you exhale and you round, then I want you to exaggerate the folding forward and the shortening of your front body and the flattening of your back body. Really gets deep into those tiny intrinsic muscles. It's such a way to connect to your core and it's so nurturing for the whole system. Continue just a couple more here if you want. Like you're a boat rocking on the water. Come back to neutral spine. If your shoulders are now in two, please clasp your hands behind your head. And we're going to add a little shoulder lift. So let's inhale and do the arch part. Squeeze your shoulder blades, tilt your pelvis forward, your back will arch, push your elbows into the floor. You'll really feel that activate your back, upper back too. As you exhale, scoop your tailbone under. And this time, lift your shoulders and your upper body off the floor. Squeeze your elbows toward one another. Squeeze here. Inhale, lower down. Begin to arch whole back body. Whole front body spreads open. Exhale, scoop, tuck, and lift. Do two more like this. Inhale, lower down. Exhale round. Inhale, lift. Exhale round. Beautiful work. Come back to low on your back. Maybe take those windshield wiper legs again. Little bit of side to side. Okay, we're going to come to lay on our belly. So I'm just going to spin around again. I'm keeping my connection with the floor. 
and I'm letting my movement become as labor, labor free as I possibly can. All right. Make sure you've got a bit of space around you. That's my earring. We're going to come to do a necklace first of all. Okay, so come down to lay on your belly. And our, our, our hands are going to be at cactus above our head if your shoulders allow that. First, we'll be laying down with our left ear on the floor. Just let your legs roll along. You're laying with your left ear, your head is turned to look at your right hand. If that's not comfortable for your arms, let them just splay out beside you here, okay, wherever you need them to be. So here we're just simply going to just use the neck muscle. Lift your head only and try to isolate just the neck muscle. Let that do the work. Don't let anything else tense. Or if it does, notice it and just say, okay, you can let go. I've got you. Lift the head off the floor. Stay looking to the right. Stay holding the head up. Tuck the chin and slowly turn the head over to look at the left arm. Then lower the ear down to the right ear. Let go of the effort. Now lift the head again, stay looking to the left, tuck the chin, turn the head, look to the right, lower down, <sighs> release. Let's do that again. Lift the head, turn to look to the left, hold here, lower down, <sighs> lift the head. Turn to look to the right, lower down, and release. Now stay here. Turn, take your right arm and place your right hand under your left ear. Stay looking at your right elbow. Take your left arm now down alongside your body. So that's released. We're going to do opposite arm to opposite leg lift here. So let's start by lifting our head and our right elbow as one unit, keep your left arm down and lift your left leg. So we've got a cross pat pattern happening here, right side to left lower. Exhale, lower bow and release. Inhale, lift both. Exhale, lower bow. Inhale, lift both. Exhale, lower bow. One more. Inhale, lift bow. Exhale, lower bow. Okay, we're going to come to switch. So lift your head only. Turn, tuck your chin. Lower the ear down. Take your right arm down beside you. Change your left hand under your right ear. And let's go. Inhale, lift your left elbow and head and right leg. Whoops, I nearly did it the other way. Exhale, lower. Inhale, lift elbow, head and right leg. And lower. Do that again. Inhale, lift elbow, right leg. Release. One more time. Inhale, left elbow, right leg. And release. <sighs> totally release. Okay, everyone, please turn your head so it's facing in the center here. Bring your hands beside your chest. We're going to push our way up onto all fours. So, what I want you to remember here. Push your hand into the floor. Hug your upper arms in close to your body. Press your knees in and feel your bottom start to lift. Draw your squeeze your pelvic floor in. And as we press ourselves up, rather than letting the lower back drop down, I want you to draw your bottom back. Push your knees into the floor. Hug your upper arms in. And we're going to come to all fours here. Okay, so coming up to cat counting, if your wrists don't like being leaned on like this. This is the other option to lower down onto your forearms. We're not here for too long. 
So just as we were doing on the floor, the arch and the bend, we're going to do it in the cat cow form here. So as you inhale, you drop your belly, your pelvis tilts forward, your tailbone tilts back. And look up, draw your chest up and forward. Exhale, tuck your tail, round your chin to your chest and squeeze the air out. Inhale, drop your belly, happy cat. And if you're doing it like so, and exhale, round and tuck. Your belly button back to side. Inhale, okay. Exhale, round and cat. And again, inhale, drop the belly. Exhale, round the belly. Now, I'd like you to play here. Maybe you might like to do some little barrel rolls here of your spine. Maybe some side to side movements, side to side sway, side bending of your spine. I want you to just play. You might want to continue with cat cow or even sitting back on your heels to child's pose. We can play here and remember to put support under your knees if you're being on your knees like this is a good gym. Or, like I said before, palm to your forearms. You can do all the play on your forearms as well. Okay, from here, whether you're on your elbows or you're on your hands, come to neutral spine. We're going to do a little cat cow child's place flow, gentle somatic flow here. So as we inhale from a neutral spine, drop the belly, looking up. As we exhale, begin to round. And from this point, I want you to squeeze all your muscles in towards center and toward the bone. So squeeze and hug. And then begin to gently sit your bottom back towards your heels. Now you can take your knees wide so you have room here to breathe the belly. Now let's flow again. Inhale, come on back up. The happy cat, drop the belly. And as you exhale, round and hug all those muscles to the bone. Stay squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. If you lean back to child's pose, and then when you get to child's pose, <sighs> let all the muscles go. Now you may just be here for child's pose. That's okay, wherever it's right for you, or here. Okay, with the bottom up. Inhale, come back up again, drop the belly, have the air. Exhale, round, squeeze, hug, hug, hug until you get to your resting child's pose. <sighs> Release. Be more like that. And exhale, come back, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. <sighs> Inhale, exhale, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. One more time, inhale. I think I'm trying on the bonus for you, that's okay. Exhale, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Beautiful. Okay, come on all the way up now. And let's come to sit on our bottom. Gently spin your legs around. So you a little bit more here for the core. Now, option is to take your block, place your block between your knees. This is gonna make it a bit more challenging for you. Okay, squeeze the block between your knees here and where possible, track it your feet down. Okay, so feet stay down. So from here with this block squeezing in, thighs squeezing in, we're going to come down for uh, some, a, a count of 10 core work. So as we inhale here, lift our spine, and then exhale 10. We're not going to go all the way down now. We're going to hover and then come back up slowly. 10, 9, 8, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Stay here, stay here. Come up again slow for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let's go down again. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come up two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Last time. This time we'll go all the way down. You ready? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Awesome. Take the block out. Stretch it out here. At this stage again, you may feel like you need a little bit more of those one share wipe or twist. Let's do a few more. Or you may feel like you need to hug the knees into your belly and do little strong little circles on your ceiling with your knees. So you're massaging the muscles of your spine here. And let's go the other way. Lovely. Okay. Holding still here. Place the feet again in front of the bottom. We're going to do some beads on the knee cross. So, remember it's like bridge pose. Hands are down beside you. Now, normally in bridge, we would have the palms down, but for gentle somatics, low flow here. Palms are up. Feet aren't too close to the bottom, but they're not too far. Find your just right point. Knees have a bit of a gap between them. So, when you're ready, feet gently stay with it. They're going to press into the ground in a minute. On the inhalation, come back into that arch like we did before with the pelvis. Breathe in. Pelvis tilts forward, there's an arch in the lower back. And as you exhale, when you scoop your tailbone under, you feel a flattening, start to raise the hips up off the floor, and it's a visual awareness practice here. So close your eyes, and this is a slow lift. You want to imagine how each vertebra is moving relative to the other. Slowly, 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 slowly. Start to lift a little higher, being conscious of how each one is moving. Now just take little mind um, snippets of where you feel that there's not a lot of movement and where you do find it moves really well. Remember those places that feel a bit stuck or a bit disjointed because we'll come back to them. Lower down and feel the reverse unwinding. What's happening? How is my spine unwinding here? Release. Scoop the tailbone under again. Do that one more time. And this time, when you go, when you find those points that are feeling a little bit tight or not moving fluently, I want you to stay precisely there. And we'll do these tiny little micro movement pulses into that localized area. Visualize that particular vertebral segment. Okay, and we're doing little self massage, self release. And then when you feel like that little point is worked through, then come a little higher to where you might be feeling somewhere else. It's an anatomical norm for the thoracic not to move quite as much. So it's nice to actually spend some time feathering there. And then lower down, and again, stopping along the way wherever you feel the need to. Really get that inner sense of that spine. This is where your awareness is now, in the spine. Everything else is just kind of peripheral right now. Really feel that localised movement pendiculate naturally. There's a moment in time where you think, ah, oh, that's what she's meaning. So keep playing until you, find, until you find it. I've only just started to find it now. So 
keep playing and then lower and pause. Lengthen the legs out. Release the neck, just keep being well from side to side, and we'll do a little tiny pulse movement at the edge here, the edge here, and then come back to bed. Beautiful, everyone. We've got one more somatic flow. It's linked with um, the work of Bam Christ, Mojang Bam Christ as well. It's a rainbow one that we've done, the Propeller Rainbow. So come today on your side, somewhere where you've got lots of space above your head and down around your feet. I'm just going to make more space for myself here. So you may or may not need support for your head. Sometimes it kind of gets in the way later. So choose whether you want it or not. I'll just have that there for now, but I will move that probably. So come to, doesn't matter what side you choose at the moment. Here, just want to make sure we're really, really comfortable here. Roll everything into place. If at any point that you want to stop before I... I um, guide you to stop, but you might get aggravated. Please stop and come to lay on your back at any point. This is a beautiful one, but you can you can overdo stuff when it's subtle if you overdo it. So listen to your beautiful body. Knees here at that forty five degree angle here in front of the hip, or is it ninety degrees? Anyway, knees here in front of the hip. There, both arms out in front of you. The connection in this first part is important, okay? So palm on palm. And we're going to slowly ease and gradually into a twist, but we'll go there taking our time. We want to keep that touch and just trace and tickle your hand gently, guide it up your forearm, and then slide back down so you're not coming all the way up. And slide a little bit past it. Once again, Hand on hand, trace that arm up the forearm and up the arm and slide back down. Closing your eyes and feeling, really enjoying the touch and you're also encouraging lymphatic movement too. So draw the energy up and then start to trace that hand across the front of the chest and gently start to close. Once again, inhale, draw the energy up and start to open a little bit more. Keep that connection with the chest and start now to activate or feel a shortening of that muscle behind your right shoulder blade and then come back, slowly opening to the twist. Come a little bit further this time. Keep the connection, and this time maybe your top arm wants to unfold all the way around to that twist. And then bend the arm again, come back to that connection, hand on hand. Do it again. Open up. Gently starting over. One more time. Now this time, this top arm here, rather than opening up into a twist through touch, 
we're going to miss a step because I don't want to aggravate our shoulders. We're going to take it and draw. Imagine you've got a paintbrush on your fingers and you're dipping it into colour paint. You want to keep it connected, the hands where possible. Your shoulder may not be able to go all the way um, with it connected. But we're going to draw a half rainbow above our head and start to open into that twist this way. Okay, and then reverse it. Trace back over your rainbow and come back to your hand. Let's do that again. Draw the rainbow above your head. And then reverse. Now we're going to bring the leg in. The leg will straighten out. You've got a paintbrush on that foot and the reverse happens with your leg. Okay, so as your arm opens back and paints it above your head, your toe brush will draw in front of your body. So you're a pendulum now. And reverse it. When you come back with your hand, your toe brush will paint behind you. And feel that spiral happening in your body, like a twist to the front and a twist to the back. Let's do that again. Keep repeating. Going in opposite directions. Inhale and open up. Exhale and fold in. Inhale, arm comes back, toes come forward. This is when you may not want your pillow. Exhale, hand comes forward, toes come back. Pause in that nice little end point. Let's keep going. One more time. Okay, everybody, come to hug and just a little ball here on your side. And then let's gently unfold, open up, and roll onto your back. Kind of just unscrew. Take a moment here to feel the difference between your left side and your right side. Okay. We're going to change sides. If you're at home, you can simply roll onto the other side. I'm going to spin around this way so my back's not too good. So let's begin starting on your side. Your knees bend up. Ah, breathing out. That was pretty amazing. I know you probably would have noticed pretty amazing things. There's lots happening inside you. We've done so much work. And I can just imagine you getting to your day later on thinking, wow, my body feels amazing on the inside, my mind, my whole body. Okay, hand to hand connection. Start to trace that top hand and begin to open into the gradual twist. Place that down. Maybe closing the eyes if that's available for you softly. Or just a little a light gaze down. Start to open out into that twist a little bit more. Okay, 
One more time. So we get a paintbrush now. We can do the leg straight away with the arm. So straighten your leg, take the arm, dip them both on the paintbrush, and draw your rainbow. So when the arm comes back, the leg comes forward like a pendulum. Spiral your upper torso back or your front hips come forward. Then reverse. Arm draws forward, spiral hip back. Two more, everyone. This is the finale now. One more. Beautiful. A moment to curl up in your nipple. And you have made it to your Shavasana, everyone. So extend open as naturally as you can. Take a moment here and have a little think about where your socks are, where your blankets are, because we're going to set up for Shavasana. If you want to take some support under your knees to support your lower back, please do that. A couple of blocks with a, a blanket laid over it, or if you have a bolster at home, please do that. I'm going to give you a um, serenade with some moon sound, Tibetan bowls today in the chimes for your Shavasana. So I won't be doing a lot of talking. I've done a lot of talking through the session. Now it's quiet integration time with some sound. Okay, so set yourself up. Make yourself warm and comfortable. And enjoy the sound.
If you would like to stay in Shavasana a little bit longer today, please feel free to. I'm going to stop the video. So please stay where you are as long as you've got time for. Thank you so much for practicing today. If you are going to come back, take your time and come back here slowly. Okay, so bless you all. Have a beautiful week. This is my dog Danny. He's shaking. He's cold. And I think he's saying, I need to go out. So I love you all. And I'll see you next week. Namaste. Namaste from us. Namaste.